Hi guys, I'm Captain Ron. In this video, I will show you how to determine the ship's freshwater and dockwater allowance, or the change in drafts as the ship sail from different water densities. But before I proceed to some calculations in determining the freshwater allowance and dockwater allowance, I will first discuss the effect of density on the ship's drafts. If you like this video guys, kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to notify you when new videos are uploaded. Density is the mass per unit volume of any given liquid or substance. So the ships presume that she always floats in water that has a density within the range of fresh water and salt water. The fresh water density is 1000 kg per cubic meter or 1.0 ton per cubic meter. The salt water density is 1025 kg per cubic meter or 1.025 tons per cubic meter and water between the densities of 1,001 kg per cubic meter, or 1.001 ton per cubic meter, to 1,024 kg per cubic meter, or 1.024 tons per cubic meter is called dock water densities. If the ship will proceed from salt water to fresh water, or from water with higher to lower density, there will be a sinkage of a few centimeters, which will result in an increase in the ship's drafts. On another hand, if the ship will proceed from freshwater to saltwater, or from water with lower to higher density, the ship will rise for a few centimeters, which will result in a decrease in the ship's drafts. The term relative density is also used instead of density. It is defined as a ratio of the density of a substance in question to that of freshwater. To find the relative density of the water substance, Relative density is equal to the density of water or substance, divided by the density of fresh water. Let us find the relative density of salt water which is a density of 1025 kg per cubic meter. So the relative density of salt water is equal to 1025 kg per cubic meter, divided by the density of fresh water which is 1000 kg per cubic meter. Then cancel the unit kilograms per cubic meter, so the answer is 1.025. If the given density of any liquid or substance is in tons per cubic meter, let's say in this example, the given density of salt water is 1.025 tons per cubic meter, so just divide it by the density of fresh water in tons per cubic meter, then cancel both units, and the answer is 1.025. So to find the relative density of any liquid or substance, we simply divided it by the density of fresh water, then cancel the units. Relative density has no existing units. To simplify it, to find the relative density, just take out the existing unit of the given density of a substance in tons per cubic meter, and that's the value of relative density. So let us proceed to fresh water allowance. Freshwater allowance defines as the number of millimeters in which the mean draft changes when she passes from salt water to fresh water, or from fresh water to salt water, when she is loaded to its summer displacement. These is a ship's load line marks, molded in the midship part of the ship's hull, in port and starboard side. TF means tropical freshwater, F for freshwater, T for tropical, S for summer, W for winter and below the winter load line mark is the WNA, or Winter North Atlantic. I will not go deeper into the discussion of load lines, since our topic in this video is a freshwater and dockwater allowance. So to understand freshwater allowance, let's say, the ship is floating in salt water, the relative density is 1.025, and she is loaded to its summer displacement. If we inspect the ship's load line, the water line will be on the upper edge of the S load line mark. Then she proceeds to a berth in which the water has a relative density of 1.0, or she arrived in fresh water. If we inspect the load line marks again, the water line is on the upper edge of the F load line mark. In this case, there is an increase in the ship's drafts by several number of millimeters, as she passes from salt water to fresh water, without adding or loading any weight on board the ship. The change in the ship's draft when she passes from salt water to fresh water is called freshwater allowance. On another hand, let's say the ship is floating in fresh water, in which the relative density is 1.0, and she is loaded to its summer displacement. If we inspect the ship's load line, the water line will be on the upper edge of the F load line mark. 
and when she proceeds to a birth in which the water has a relative density of 1.025, or when she arrived in salt water, then as we inspect the load line marks again, the water line is on the upper edge of the S load line mark. In this case, the ship rises, and the effect is a decrease in the ship's drafts by several number of millimeters, as she passes from fresh water to salt water, without discharging any weight on board the ship. The change in the ship's draft when she passes from fresh water to salt water is called fresh water allowance. In this case, I disregard the change in the drafts due to fuel and fresh water consumption. There are two methods to find fresh water allowance. First, by solving it mathematically using the formula, fresh water allowance in millimeters is equal to summer displacement divided by 4 times TPC in salt water. The TPC to be used in finding freshwater allowance is the saltwater TPC value for the summer load draft. The second method of finding the freshwater allowance is by extracting the value from the stability information manual. This is a photo of a load line taken from the ship stability manual, in which the freshwater allowance is 231 mm. I will use this freshwater allowance value in finding the ship's arrival main draft. Let's say, the ship departs from salt water, in which the relative density is 1.025, with a summer load draft of 9.80 meters. And she proceeds to a berth in which the relative density is 1.0. The ship's fresh water allowance is 231 millimeters. Determine her arrival draft in fresh water, disregarding the change in the draft due to fuel and other consumptions. So this is the solution to find the arrival draft. Departure draft is 9.800 meters. Apply the change in draft to fresh water allowance, which is 231 millimeters. But we will convert millimeters first into meters before we can apply it to the departure draft. To convert millimeters divided by 1000 is equal to meters. So 231 millimeters divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.231 meter. We can now apply the freshwater allowance which is 0.231 meter. But we need to determine if the change in the draft will be added or subtracted to the departure draft. Remember if the ship departs from salt water and proceeds to freshwater, there will be a sinkage and the effect will be an increase in the ship's drafts. So we will add the freshwater allowance and the arrival draft is 10.031 meters. But if the ship departs from freshwater and proceeds to salt water, there will be a rise, and the effect will be a decrease in the ship's draft. So subtract the freshwater allowance from the departure draft to find the arrival draft. Let's proceed to dock water allowance. Dock water allowance defines as the number of millimeters in which the ship's mean draft changes when she passes from salt water to dock water, or from dock water to salt water when she is loaded to its summer displacement. I will show you some examples of how to calculate the dock water allowance. Calculate the ship's change in draft and the arrival draft if she departs from salt water with a summer load draft of 10.300 meters and proceeds to a berth where the relative density of dock water is 1.014. The ship's fresh water allowance is 246 millimeters. The first step is to calculate the change in draft or dock water allowance. The formula is dock water allowance is equal to fresh water allowance times the relative density of salt water minus the relative density of dock water divided by the relative density of salt water minus the relative density of fresh water. The denominator in this formula is constant. It is always a difference between salt water and fresh water densities. In this case, I use relative density so the denominator is 0 0.025. If you use density which is in kilograms per cubic meter, the denominator is 25. So dock water allowance is equal to 246 millimeters times 1.025 minus 1.014 divided by the constant which is 0 0.025. Dock water allowance now is equal to 246 millimeters times 0.44, and the answer is 108.24 millimeters. So we need to determine if 108.24 is an increase or decrease in the ship's draft. If the ship from salt water proceeds to dock water with lesser density, 
there will be a sinkage, and the effect will have an increase in the ship's draft. So the ship's mean draft will increase by 108.24 millimeters. So the next step is to calculate the arrival draft. The departure draft is 10.300 meters, at the dock water allowance of 108.24 millimeters, since it is an increase in the ship's draft. But in order to add, we need to convert 108.24 millimeters into meter. To convert, just divide it by 1000. The dock water allowance now is 0 0.108 meter. So the arrival draft is 10.408 meters. If the ship departs from dock water and proceeds to salt water, subtract the dock water allowance to find the arrival draft. This is the next example. Calculate the change in draft and the arrival draft. The ship is loaded to its summer displacement, and she will depart from a berth where the dock water relative density is 1.007. And she will go to another berth where the dock water relative density is 1.018. Her departure draft is 10.520 meters, with a freshwater allowance of 253 millimeters. The first step is, calculate the change in draft or dock water allowance. So the formula is, dock water allowance is equal to fresh water allowance times, the relative density of arrival dock water, minus the relative density of departure dock water, divided by 0 0.025. Just take the difference between the departure and arrival dock water, or subtract the lesser from the greater. So dock water allowance is equal to 253 millimeters times 1.018 minus 1.007 divided by 0 0.025. Dock water allowance is 253 millimeters times 0.44, and the answer is 111.32 millimeters. So she sails from a lower density to a higher density, the ship will rise, and the effect on ship's draft will decrease. The ship's draft will decrease by 111.32 millimeters. So the final step is to calculate the arrival draft. The departure draft is 10.520 meters, then subtract the dock water allowance of 111.32 millimeters, since the effect is decreased in the draft. Just divide 111.32 millimeters by 1000 to convert into meters, in order to subtract from the departure draft. The dock water allowance is 0.111 meters. So the arrival draft is 10.409 meters. The change in drafts due to fuel and other consumptions has been disregarded in these calculations. That's all for now guys. If you like the video, kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified if there are newly uploaded videos. Thank you for watching.